This is a fun to sail .com and it's still a time sailing school video and this is our lovely assistant Crean Moore and I am your host Miles Moore and we are going to demonstrate the sailing simulator and some basics of sailing. And we're going to go around this clock you notice there's a rug underneath her which is called the wind clock it's a color coordinated rug to represent that the red area is no go zone the blue areas are the reaching position which with their various um, points of sail there's names for each position but we just call it reaching in this video and then in the blue area I mean in the green area we have running alright so we're gonna go around the wind clock right now she has her sail pulled in and the next position she's going to go to is the reaching position, the beam reach. She's going to go down the clock, go down the clock. you got to remember which way to turn there. Okay. Now she lets her sail out just a little bit more. Okay. And she's going down. She's going at a sideways angle to the wind, which is called beam reaching. Again, the blue area is the reaching. Now she's going to go down to the edge of the running area. Okay. She's going to let her sail out. And now she's running with the wind. That's why they call it running. So now, as you notice in this wind clock, she was when she was close to the red area, the no-go zone, that she had her sail pulled in. As she progresses down the wind clock, she lets her sail out. Now she's going to do an accidental jibe to show you how not to, to do a jibe going downwind through the running area. Go ahead. Now you see the sail, the boom just flew across, and this little simulator is not necessarily a big deal. But if you were on a big keel boat or multi-hull, and you let that boom fly across, you could hurt people, and or you could get demasked. On a small sailboat, typically it'll roll you and capsize you. So now she's going to do a control jibe, pull the sail in, make her turn. Notice the boom doesn't fly across. She's going to let her sail back out. Okay. And now she's heading downwind. We got a nice little breeze out on the lake here today as well, helping us. So now she's running downwind. Now she's going to do a jibe again. Um, now let your sail out again, Crean, and let the sail go out on the other side. Okay, can you turn upwind? Okay, and let the bo boom go on the other side. Let the boom go on the other side. Okay, because we're going to do a jibe. All right, so she's sailing downwind. Now she's going to do another controlled jibe. She's going to pull her sail in, or you can pull it in as you're turning. Go ahead. Come to the other side. Let your sail back out all the way. Okay. And now she's sailing downwind. Now go to the reaching position, Kareem. And she pulls her sail in a little bit to adjust and keep the sail smooth and the tail tails flowing back. Now she's going to go to a reaching, I mean a close hauled position or beating, which is close to the no go zone. And she's going to pull her sail in. And now she's got her sail pulled in. And as so, we went down the clock. As we go down the clock, we let the sail out. As we come back up, we pull the sail in. Now Karina is going to do a tack. Up, oh, she's stuck. Oh no, what will she do? I guess she'll have to back wind a sail to get unstuck. And this is when you get stuck in the no go zone, this is how you get unstuck. All right, go ahead and back wind again. And remember, you got to turn your tiller pointed towards the end of the boom. So turn your tiller. You got to turn the tiller. There you go. All right, straighten it out. Okay, so that's how you get unstuck. Now she's at sideways to the wind. Crane, how would you stop if you turn sideways to the wind like you are now? Yes, you'd let your sail out. And that's a better way to stop because then you don't have to back when to get unstuck. Some boats have a difficult time getting unstuck out of the what we call irons or in the no-go zone, have a hard time pulling out of that. So if you want to stop the boat, um, pulling into the no-go zone isn't the best way to do it. But turning sideways like that, let your sails flutter. Then all she has to do to take off again is do what? Yeah, pull her sail in and off she goes. So, um, there she goes. Now she's sailing. 
Um, so that is the basis of getting unstuck. Now we're going to do attack again because she got stuck last time. She's going to get close to the no-go zone. Okay. Okay. She is going to uh, make attack. Now you know that she pulled her sail in before doing her attack. You don't want to start attack in a beam reach or down at running and start making a turn. In dinghies, if you start making a turn further away from the no-go zone and you start making a turn, your sail loses power before it even gets close to the no-go zone. So in this way, Crean is close to the no-go zone. She has her sail pulled in and um, right now the wind's shifted a little bit, so she probably should turn towards me a little bit more. There you go. Fill that sail up. Have that sail and put shape in it. Pull your sail in, Kareem. Okay. Now she's going to make a tack. Go ahead. And she's going to hold that tiller over until she's through her turn. All right. Straighten it out. And that's a tack. So go ahead and do a tack again, Kareem. Okay. And there she is again. Turns all the way through until the sail fills with wind. So what we've done is we'll go real quick. Go back to the beating position. Stop, stop, okay. She's in a beating position. Now go to the reaching position. She slaps her sail out a little bit. Goes, okay, goes to the running position. Lets her sail out even more. She decides she wants to turn because she's running out of water. She's getting close to shore, so she's going to pull her sail in, make the turn. Boom comes to the other side. Sail does. She lets her sail back out. Off she goes. Now she's going to go to the reaching position, stops, okay, pulls her, her sail's pretty good right there, and then she goes to the beating position, stop, stop, okay, now she's going to, she's sailing up wind, got a nice shape in her sail, and now she's going to tack all the way through the turn, and, and there she is, she's gotten through the wind, Probably not all the way. Turn a little bit more. We just got a little shift of wind from the back, from out in the environment here. Normally when we run the simulator, we're indoors. So we're not getting the effect of the other wind around us, shifting on us. And that is the basics of sailing and how the sailing simulator works. And thank you, Crean, for helping us. And if any of you have questions, just email us at fundasail.com and or call us. And you can find our phone number on our website. And we hope to see you in some of our classes in the future. Thank you.